If you've worked hard to optimize a web page, but it just won't seem to rank, I want to look at some of the most common issues that can keep it from ranking, from indexing to linking to technical issues you may have unintentionally overlooked. Now, I'm going to assume that your site is actually indexed on Google. If you're not sure that your site is indexed on Google, you want to use the site search operator. You can do that by going to Google and doing a search for site colon followed by your domain name. And if you see many results pop up for your website, well, your site is indexed. And if you don't see any results, then it is not indexed. And what you want to do is go into your WordPress settings there and uncheck the box that discourages search engines from indexing the site. But what about the specific web page that you are working to rank? We can use that same site search operator, but this time include the full URL. If you see one result for that web page, it is indexed. But if you do not see any results, then it is not indexed. So you would simply want to remove that no index tag. And once you've done that, you can actually go into your Google Search Console account and there you can request indexing of that specific URL. So that way Google is aware of it and can go back and recrawl and hopefully index that page. What I would also encourage you to do is to share that specific web page, whether this is in a newsletter, it's on social media, and try to generate at least some traffic to this web page. Now, the next issue could actually be just needing a little bit of patience. Sometimes we don't wait enough before we start to worry. And this is particularly the case when we have a newer website where Google does not crawl that website as often yet and doesn't index these web pages, rank them as quickly. So when we have an older site, oftentimes we can get that web page ranking within the day. Sometimes it can be very quick, but especially for some of the newer sites, it can take days and even weeks for Google to actually go crawl, index, and then rank a piece of content. Now, if you think you may need a little bit of a patience, in the meantime, you can go over to your Google Search Console account, double check that you have submitted what is called an XML sitemap to Google Search Console. So that way Google is aware of all of the web pages that you want to have indexed. If you are using an SEO plugin, they likely already create this for you. You just need to grab the URL and pop it into your Search Console account. Now it can also be technical issues that are causing your web pages to underperform. So this is why it's a really good idea, even on a regular basis, to run an SEO audit. So I've shown you before here how to do that using SEMrush, and this is going to tell you specifically specifically which technical issues are causing problems on your website. SEMrush will actually break this down into categories, errors, warnings, and notices. So if you have anything in the errors section, you definitely want to make sure that those are the ones that you take care of immediately. So these could be things like slow loading web pages. This could be security issues, a lack of an SSL certificate. There's a whole host of technical issues that could be happening. So how you go about fixing that depends, of course, on what that issue specifically is. Now, another issue is links. And when I say links, most people go straight to these external backlinks where we have a third party website that links to our website. And I also mean internal links. And those are the links that come from another page on the same website. And so this is actually something that should be part of your content publishing process if it isn't already. You want to make sure that not only is your brand new web page linking to other relevant pages on your website, you also want to make sure some of those older relevant web pages are linking to that brand new page as well. That is going to help Google find those pages and see how important it is. If there are no inbound, no outbound links on a page, this is considered an orphan page because it just exists on your website as a standalone page that is not connected anywhere. So make sure to add this into your process, or if you want to make it easier, you can use a tool like Link Whisper, which will give you specific ideas on which pages to link to. And I'll leave a link in the description where I show you how that process works. And it's always a good idea to focus on building high quality backlinks coming into your website from other websites. But if you do not have the time or the budget, for that at this time, you want to make sure that you really put a focus on your content so that it's high quality, share worthy content so you can hopefully pick up some backlinks just due to the quality of your content as well. Now, another reason is keyword competition. If you are focusing on keywords that are just too competitive 
for the particular site you're working on, that can be why that particular web page is not ranking. So if you are going after some very competitive keywords like microwaves or dog training, you're going to have a tough time ranking if you do not have a very high authority website that is really known for those particular topics. So if you are not able to rank for those, what you want to do is start by targeting long tail, low competition keywords and work on those until you can rank for those consistently. And then you can try to bump up to a little bit more difficult keywords after that. Now, SEO and content go hand in hand. So content is going to be incredibly important. And sometimes it's hard, especially if you yourself is the one who is writing all of the content for a website to really be able to uh, evaluate the quality of that content. So sometimes it takes an outside person coming in who is truly going to give us honest feedback on the content and make sure that we are producing high quality content. It focuses on the search intent of the user. Are we giving them the answer or are we making them dig for the answer that they're looking for? Is the answer that we are giving them complete and thorough so that they don't have to hit that back button and go to another resource to look for additional information. So before creating content, it's a good idea to go to Google, see what type of content is actually showing up in search results. Is it a blog post? Or maybe it's a video, maybe it's images. Find out what type of content is actually ranking and then check out what the competition is. Are they thorough? How are they answering that question? How can we do it better? How can we do it differently or more unique or add more expertise into our piece? So these are some of the most common reasons why your web page may not be ranking. Even though you worked hard on optimizing it, I will leave several resources down in the description below to help with some of these issues here. And of course, as always, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask below. Thank you so much for spending your time here and I'll catch you next time.